Shocking footage from Al-Aqsa as Israeli forces attack Palestinian worshippers. Qatar's health authorities say they're keeping an eye on a deadly new virus. A new integrated city will soon be built in northern Syria thanks to Qatar. And finally, UK officials look into the business records of Manchester United hopeful Sheikh Jassim. Hi, it's Ali. This is The Roundup. Here are today's top stories. Israeli police have attacked and arrested Palestinian worshippers in a brutally violent raid on Al-Aqsa Mosque in the early hours of Wednesday. Shocking footage from the incident shows Israeli forces using excessive force on worshippers observing prayers during the holy month of Ramadan. They were also suffocated by stun grenades and tear gas and were brutally beaten by batons and rifles. At least 400 Palestinians were arrested and removed from the holy site to make way for Jewish settlers. As part of Israel's efforts to change the status quo of the mosque, settlers were granted the approval to sacrifice offerings at the Muslim site for the Passover holiday. Here in Qatar, health authorities said they are following developments regarding the Marburg virus following its spread in Equatorial Guinea and Tanzania. Symptoms for the Marburg virus include fever, headache, muscle pain and much more. No cases have yet been reported in Qatar, but the health ministry advised the public to avoid unnecessary travel to the two African nations for the time being and keep an eye out on symptoms. Now, Qatar Fund for Development has announced it will be established an integrated city in northern Syria. The project is being rolled out in cooperation with the Turkish Disaster and Emergency Management and will benefit some 70,000 people. It comes after the war-torn nation was hit by two major earthquakes last month. And finally, UK government officials have allegedly flagged concerns on Manchester United bidder and QIB chairman Sheikh Jassim bin Hamad Al Thani. As per a Bloomberg report, officials are investigating previous regulatory failings at the UK unit of QIB. However, the internal probe will unlikely intervene in Sheikh Jassim's personal proposal for Old Trafford as there is no involvement by QIB for the bid. For the full story, head over to our website. Thank you for joining us. For more of our stories, head over to our website www.dohanews.co. Have a great day.